Hello, welcome to my individual assignment presentation. My name is Liako Choudhury. I'm presenting here four selected papers and um, I'm uh, be talking about the papers I have read. So the first paper is use of balanced scorecards for knowledge management roadmap. And uh, this article is uh, written by Govoro, Drago Mibora, and Jagover. All of them writers are from Sofia University. So the first question is why this article was interesting to me and how it's relevant to my role as an IT manager. So for the each article, I have explained it in the beginning. So for, the, for this article, uh, it provides guidance for preparing a knowledge man management strategic plan and corresponding matrices needs for monitoring and control. And as an IT manager, I think that uh, it's important to identify the resources available and to study the knowledge management process to implement IT strategies. The strategy development process follow the balance scorecard which the writers call BSC card. Uh, this is the approach of Kaplan and Norton and we have a figure here we can actually see the four perspective of looking at it. In each perspective uh, we can see that we have organizational value, customers orientation, future readiness value and the internal business processes and each perspective of the this scorecard should be linked the goals set to specific targets to be met applying concrete activities that is actions here in figure one the development towards the targets should be measured with a specific key performance indicator which is called the kpi so as we can see that in every um, perspective we have goals and we have targets and we need to do this by uh, concrete activities that are the actions and we need to measure them by this key performance indicator that is KPI and in the figure we can see that all these perspectives are connected and at the end of the day actually internal efficiency and customer satisfaction are added and that's provide us uh, service success as an um, uh, business or uh, organizations. My second article is how to recruit, motivate and retain effective student workers. This is quite interesting article. I found it actually it was uh, written by two researchers. Uh, they are uh, from Pennington Biomedical Research Center. Uh, this research center is under the Louisiana State University. And it's a paper uh, from 2003. Why? Because the article provides the experience of recruiting students' workers, motivating them to retain. This is very interesting and uh, to learn. And as an IT manager, if I think myself in that position, of course, uh, this is very important part of a manager to recruit and to motivate them to retain. No? The process they're talking about uh, in that uh, biomedical research center, they recruit a student uh, the process is they contact the department heads regarding top uh, students, look for motivation, dedication, maturity, and then they hire actually freshmen so that they actually stay for three or four years. And then they motivate, they, they, ha they do it by including the students, workers in the staff meeting and decision making. So actually they feel themselves important in the organizations. Actually, they offer students different training, that is Microsoft or other software training class with free of cost. They assign special projects to them and then they increase the salary on a basis of anniversary of their higher dates. So these are the process the organization is following. My third uh, article is about uh, training to persist in computing careers. This article is um, quite interesting in the field of uh, information technology or information system careers. And um, I choose this article because the writers developed an IT career resilience toolkit and training module that is interesting because uh, when we are talking about uh, become an IT manager, 
Um, so we really need to understand the tools available to uh, develop our knowledge about persisting uh, career. And combining the IT knowledge with other skills that are not technical but as important part as to help organizational growth. Uh, so I choose this article. Uh, problem definitions part that uh, the article is talking about the companies are experiencing trouble filling their vacancies because of those students who do not enroll in IT related discipline, many graduate lack the soft skill. So by the soft skills, uh, it includes controlling and using one's emotion, that is emotional intelligence, dealing with team issue and stress, that is coping uh, strategies, and using business appropriate language. These skills are recognized as key to success in IT related discipline. Uh, we have a uh, example here like project management, interpersonal communication, and overall business acumen. So, the toolkit uh, the researcher or the writers offer here is called IT Career Resilience, that is ITCR toolkit. This module promotes the retention of IT students by encouraging positive coping strategies necessary to make them professionally successful. And whether they enter the IT workforce after graduation or they can even uh, pursue advanced study, higher study. This toolkit contains resources to help educators dispel fear that students may have about pursuing a career in IT. It promotes healthy motivation, creativity, performance and stress management techniques. And this contains nine modules and a separate unit containing hands-on activities and exercise. So the basic idea is this toolkit is actually uh, some curricular activities or the course the authors trying to uh, offer so that they can be added to the existing uh, curriculum of, of IT disciplines. My fourth um, article is about um, an evaluation of MIS implementation success fa factors. I think this is quite important to paper for me as a IS student uh, because management information system or IMS deals with the business using the component of IS and that makes it important to learn MIS implementations. So what is the I MIS in the beginning? It's a computer-based information system that delivers information support for management activities and process like decision making. It's a system for collecting, storing, retrieving, processing information, which will be used later by the manager. MIS implementation. So the author mentions some challenges here. What challenges organization face in the beginning? Uh, they put five issues here. There's leadership issue, for example, from the top management, organizational environment issue, internal or external politics, it can be management process issues like lack of strategic plan for the management. It can be personal issues like resistant to change, people don't want to implement something new. Or it can only be a technical issue, that is compatibility of information technologies. And the success factors are technical characteristics, user involvement, MIS infrastructure support, the MIS implementation project team, their teamwork together with coordination, cooperation. The organization must have strategic planning in order to be reflected in implementation. And after the implementation of MIS system in the organization, the system must be tested properly before deploying SaaS system. So this is very important. Now, uh, we have been talking about the problems or the issues and then we see the success factors. So, uh, by combining them, in a figure, the author has put a model here, that is MIS implementation model, they called it. This model is talking about um, uh, the issues that we can see from the figure, leadership issue, organization member issue, all the issues are on the top, and then the success key are on the right. So when the uh, issues affect the implementation, the success key factors are influencing them to solve the problems and at the end of the day we get the impact of effects and consequences by the MS implementations. So that was my presentation. Thank you very much for listening.